Welcome to my channel and what I want to do today is give you a very nice and simple explanation but a very pre a precise one of why shooting a basketball too flat will will not um, let you score and and I'm not even I'm gonna be even more specific I'm gonna even tell you the angle um, the magic angle is uh, 30 degrees um, to shoot a basketball um, too flat so what I'm saying is if, if you shoot the basketball 30 degrees or lower um, then you cannot make the basket with a swish so okay I'm not assuming you know anything so this argument will be very simple and uh, self-contained um, I am I am going to use these two basic facts that um, I'll, I'll explain if you don't know and the, the first fact is a uh, um, is, is about the width of a basketball so so if you have a ring right um, it's well known that um, the width of the ring is, is almost exactly twice the width of the basketball so you can fit two basketballs like like very nicely into the ring so the first um, claim is rings are two balls wide. Okay, and the other fact, which is also quite simple, um, is if you have a triangle that's nine degrees, and this side, the long side, is twice this, um, twice the length of the other side then the angle here must be 30 degrees, okay? Um, so that's that's a, also a basic and very nice fact. And um, if you have a calculator, um, it, it's essentially demonstrated by saying that sine of 30 degrees is equal to a half, okay? So, so those are the two facts I'm going to rely on. And hopefully they're simple enough. To not cause you any trouble. Okay, so let, let me let me draw the setup I want to consider. Okay, so the setup I want to consider is I have a person and they're shooting a ball into a basketball ring, and I'm assuming he's trying to go for a swish. And the angles that I'm talking about, the one that I'll keep saying was 30 degrees, um, is the angle with respect to the ground. So this is the ground, uh, or something parallel to the ground, and this is the the direction the ball is going when he's released it. So the first angle I want to talk about is A. Okay, let's call it A. And another interesting angle will be the angle that actually goes into the ring. So let's call this angle. So now it's heading down this way. And I want to call this angle B. Okay. So, so another way to say what I'm trying to claim. So the original claim is um, the claim is if a is less than or equal to 30 degrees then ball will not swish okay and I guess I guess part of this is maybe we're ignoring backspin for simplicity okay so th that's quite a simple claim and I'm going to show it to you in two steps, okay? So the first step the first step is um, I, want to, I want to justify that A is bigger than B, okay? So A is bigger than B and um, so you know that's that's actually not true if you're you're a really tall guy and you're when you jump shoot it, um, you release the ball from above the height of the ring. 
um, but, but that's probably going to be a very uncommon situation. So well, what? It's, it's, so it is true that a is bigger than b. Um, if you know, uh, if you're sh if you're shooting from a height lower than the height of the rim. So if So A is shooter, A is um, bigger than B if shot from lower than the rim. Okay, there are several ways to see this, and um, basically, you know, since the angle is measured with respect to the horizontal, um, the more vertical component it has to the um, ball's velocity the the bigger the angle is going to be and since a is lower down than b um it's it's got more vertical than b because um you, you know b has had not much time not has much time to gain vertical on its way down so like it it has zero vertical at the very top because it, it's just it's just flat here it's just going horizontally so, the longer it has to drop, the more vertical it'll have, and bigger the angle will be, okay? So, since B is higher up than A, it hasn't had as much um, drop, and therefore it has less vertical, and so the angle will be smaller. Okay, so, um, I hope you can see that, and um, or maybe come up with your own argument why the angle at the ring will be smaller than the angle at the shot, um, provided that you shoot it from a height that's lower than the height of the ring. Okay, so that's the first step. The second step is we're going to zoom in on what happens at the ring, okay? So let's zoom in. So let's say this is the ring, okay? Um, the ball is traveling like this with an angle B okay so I'm gonna put the lines on the side for convenience as well so it's 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 traveling like this and like this and this is the ring maybe you could put some nets here to make it more obvious um, and this angle is B as well this angle is B and this angle is B okay now See, it's kind of interesting. Now the ball is entering the ring at an angle, so um, essentially it's not seeing a circle anymore. It's seeing, um, you know, a, a circle on its side. So the the face of the ring the ball actually sees coming at this angle is is this line. So the ball actually sees the ring as being this wide. Okay. So for the ball to go in, it has to fit into this column. Um, because that that's this this column represents um, the furthest thing that will go into this part of the ring, and this other side will represents the furthest thing that won't hit this part of the ring. So for the ball to actually go into the ring, the ball has to fit into this column here. And so basically, the width of the ball has to be. Smaller than or equal to this length, okay. And so, this is where our, um, the two facts come in. So, if we put this length actually next to the ring, okay, you know, the exact same length next to the ring, okay, so that we know this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. So, actually, if we zoom in here, zoom in here. Um, we get a triangle. Okay, and with this so angle B. And this is this is the length that we have to fit the ball in, and this is the length of the ring. Okay, so remember the length of the ring is twice the length of the ball. So this is two, and this is one. 
okay? And so that means, you know, by, by the result we had at the top, that B um, is 30 degrees. Okay, I guess I've just drawn this, this triangle here on in a different way, but um, yeah, it's, it's exactly the same as the fact at the top. Okay, so now this this is um, now we're getting to the punchline. Okay, so the punchline is, um, you know, since since a is smaller, a is bigger than b. Um, so, so if since a is bigger than b. If you have any angle, um, that's 30 degrees or less, then, um, the angle B will be definitely less than 30 degrees. And, and we said that 30 degrees was the only angle that would make the ball fit into this column. And therefore... Um, the ball won't fit. So since A is bigger than B, um, if A is less than or equal to 30 degrees, then B is strictly less than 30 degrees. But, um, but 30 degrees was the cutoff, Thirty degrees was the cutoff, and, um, so therefore, the ball will not go in. on a swish. Okay, so um, I hope you could follow that. If you have any questions, please leave them. And you know, I think that's a, that's a rather nice argument, a very simple one to show you why um, shooting the ball too flat um, will make it hard for you to get it, get it in. Okay, thanks for listening. See you next time.